Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna take a look at how you can use playlists for your song organization inside of ProPresenter 7. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is when you're in ProPresenter, on the top left here, there'll be a little library menu. If that's not hidden, if that's not shown, you might be have it like that. So you just need to click the little drop down arrow there. And then you'll have your library here, which will have all of your songs that are in your library. And then below that, there'll be a little playlist tab. So what you can do to add a new playlist, click the little plus there, go to new playlist, and then you can name it whatever you want to call it. So we'll just call it test for now. And then when you're inside of, when you have the playlist selected, you'll see that there's nothing here. So what you can do is you can either click from your library drag the song into your playlist, then it'll be in there. Or what I usually do is I will hit the search button and then you can search for whatever song you want, which you'll have your normal library option. You'll have song select, which I'm not signed into right now. And then this last option is for um, the multi-tracks, which I'm also not signed into. So you can just type in whatever you want. If it doesn't show up in the search but you know it's there i've had it where you have to go through and actually manually find it before so that is something to keep in mind but all you do is you just drag this over into here and then you'll have your song here and then of course if you want the other song we can drag that one back in there too so if you if you don't want it to be a continuous playlist like this you can go up here to view and then turn off continuous playlist and then it will only show the current song that you're on so it it really is just preference so if you like it to where you can see them all constantly, then you can do it that way. So the other option you do have is you can do playlists. If you do the new, you have a playlist folder. So this would be like if you had one for like Sunday, or if you did your, want to do your playlist by week, you could have multiple playlists and then you could drag them in here. So if you want all your Sunday playlists in one spot or your youth playlist and stuff like that, might make it a little easier. So far, I have only really used a singular playlist because we only have the main service that uses it. And then I just edit it as we go and delete the songs that we don't need. But that's, of course, you can mess with that if you want. The other option you have is planning center service. So that would be if you want to actually add or Im so that'd be if you want to import your playlist service from ProPresenter, you can use that one. And then for libraries too, you do have the option here. Most people will probably just use a default library, but if you wanted to have one for your Sunday service songs, one for your youth, one for your youth songs or other things like that, you can hit the plus here, go to new library and make a second library. So then you could have like um, youth songs or kids songs or different, different songs like that. You could do that too. And then have, and then you'd have to just get the songs from, whichever specific library you were wanting to get it from at the time. Or inside the playlist itself, you do have a plus here where you can do headers, placeholders. So the header would be like the title that shows up at the top. This is just purely for informational. So if you wanted it like, you could do like service. Oops. So like if you wanted message, so like this was the songs and the stuff below here is all for message related things or you could have pre-service, things like that. And then a placeholder is just like if there was a um, like so and so is speaking. So you'd be like person speaking now, and then you could have next song. So like you have a song, someone comes up and speaks song, and then message notes type thing. So it's kind of really just preference if you want to make it that. Or if you want to get that much in depth in it, it's really up to you. Most people will have a service order, so you don't necessarily need to do too much of that, but it's up to you if you want to do that or not. So if you have any questions about the playlist, then be sure to leave a comment down below and we'll get to it as soon as we can. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video.